And once again, back by unpopular demand, it's me. And also Teal's uncomfortably overshaded, incredibly long neck. Hello everyone, my name is Pizza Medoy. I am a forensic scientist. This is technically a mystery game, I think. And we are investigating witches. Me! Okay, so not me. Unless we are literally the only redhead who exists on this entire planet, which, in the interest of fairness, we have not proven isn't true. You know, I don't know. My father doesn't actually have any character graphics. What do you got for me? So we got the amulet. I do like how even though Tyrael isn't an Inquisitor anymore, I think. He's kind of in a weird Schrodinger-esque place right now. We are still leaning on his route being the detective-y route. That appeals to me, and I'm the only person here whose opinion matters. On a star-studded night, you will find the amulet on Bloom Lane. But he will remain absent unless two fair maidens travel as one. That doesn't sound like just walking side by side. That sounds a bit more mystical. Matt Miller. It's one of my favorite voice actors. I got the amulets from a red-headed woman. I could tell they were high quality at a glance and I could stock them for free. I had nothing to lose. Still, it was pretty hard to sell these in the middle of the night and only if the buyers were two women. I think that was a mistake on your end. But they were all the talk of the town as a result, so all's well that ends. No, wait, I regret my actions, I do! Please stop hitting me, Daddy. I knew I wasn't the only one selling these things. It's as hard as I could to come out on top. My god, it's worse than I thought! It's a pyramid scheme! There isn't a single person with red hair in the Linzel family. We cut ties with my mother's side, so I can't comment on that with confidence, but... I believe this color was influenced by Norna. She's the only other person I've ever seen with the same hair color. Has this... Come up in the either game thus far? I don't actually remember. Bennett. Okay, no, I would definitely remember that name. Roger let off some steam, Bennett. I, I would have made that joke so many times, you all would have gotten so sick of it. They were a Viscountcy, but they now live in a residential district on the outskirts of the city. My mother's name was Leticia, that I do remember. Tail stop stealing my lines. I don't remember enough to talk about her at length. She died when I was still very young. The one who knows her the best is probably. Oh god, Mono, why? Why would you do that to me? Oh, oh god, oh god, it's in my eye, it's in my eye, ow, 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 ah. There goes a maid stuff. I am in unfathomable physical pain right now, but you know, that's pretty normal. How about you? How's life treating ya? Not a curious, I mean a little, it's kind of part of the job description. Mmm, that's a dot. Is it strange to not be curious? I feel the same way about both of them. I remember feeling sad as a child when my mother died, but those feelings didn't last very long. 
and ambivalence only strengthened when I found out about Norna. Just so happened to be the vehicle that brought her soul into this world. It could have been anyone. Could be you. Could be me. It could even be... Squidward's house. Treats me with good fortune and bad habits. I mean... If history is any indication, that is significantly better positioning than the other way around. Now watch, her hair will start turning red any second now. Any second. See? Red. No way, that's blood. Alright, bit over. This is probably what she's so detested about me. Still don't know why she called me a witch, but... Empathize with her hatred of me. Because I also hate me. That's like 80% of my character. There's no real connection. No emotion that helps me view them as family. If you were to call me callous for this... I wouldn't disagree. How could I say something like this to Master t who watched his entire clan die? Uh, with your vocal cords, evidently. My hands curl into fists. A moment later, Master t silently pats my head. Well, it took one and one point, like... 28, 29 or so of a game. But we did finally get a head pat scene, so we can check that off. No CGs yet, but you know what? I believe in us. We can do it. Okay. Hey. Right, right, crimes. Let's, let's get talk about that now. Wait, the ringleader? Are you saying you understand everything that's happened? So is that an actual 80% or a L death note? I just randomly say numbers to sound smart, 80%. Amazing. We've absorbed the same amount of information like a dirty old sponge, yet he's gleaned so much more. I don't want you to tell me everything. Let, let me think it through. We have to justify all the effort we put to to make this game mechanic. Surprise colors his features. After a few rapid blinks, he grins. Oh, you do you now? Well,けど、検討外れの推理をされたらがっかりするだろうな。それでもやるのか？あ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ち
Now, the line we have is, unless two maidens fair travel as one. Now, as I was just saying a few minutes ago, that does not sound to me like just two maidens walking side by side. I Last I checked, correct me if I'm wrong, that's not what the word one means. And words I am given to understand mean things. Now, as it happens, there is a certain red-headed young lady in this game who, up until like a few days ago, had two souls. So, you know, that's probably important. Something about these conditions bother me. You know... The thing I just said. They sell at night to avoid the prying eyes of others. That makes sense. The other condition doesn't. Why could they only sell to a group of two women? As walking alone at night is the more terrifying option, this condition only benefits those who would buy the charms. But for the seller, it only increases their chance of getting caught. The only circumstances under which two people can keep a secret is if one of them are dead. Or, you know, committed to the bit. There's been so many because the rumors have spread. Even if they were aiming to make a profit, there must have been a safer way to do so. There must have been a special reason they were in such a hurry to sell these charms. Alright, let's talk about the shiny nickel. So, regarding the actual charms Thomas and the others were selling... I've never seen a charm of this type myself, but this is what they us is this what they usually look like? I thought they would look a lot more suspicious. さあな。ヒストリカほど戒律が厳しくない国では眼掛けの類いのものが流通してるとは聞くが、実際にお目にかかったのは俺も初めてだ。Yes, we are a, a, a bit weird about the god thing. Not, not you, Mano. You're cool. Now oh, that design on the front is very obviously a... ...directly traced image of the goddess. Which, you know, seems relevant in light of everything else I just said. It boasts a beautiful design. I understand why people may believe a blessing from the goddess was indeed imbued in them. Uh, 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 give me another chance, please. Calm down and think things through. No, no, you're definitely... I'm onto your tricks game. You are keeping score of these things, and you are going to hit me with a bad end if I don't get this first try. Also, what is so interesting about circles? Thomas said this coin was made of pure gold. Yeah, I mean, Thomas carried one, and all he got was his ass kicked. 
He was clobbered by two separate fists and caught by the Inquisitors. This is far from a perfect life, to be sure. Circles are great, they can represent the endless cycles of life, and then you can bisect them and defy that order in a single stroke. I feel like if you were feeling up to it, you could apply that logic to basically any shape capable of being constrained within the same bounds of existence as a cutting edge. You know, when was the last time life neatly organized itself into a geometric figure? Don't actually answer that. Even if it's only copper, it would require some specialized equipment to shape them so finely. You could easily mistake these coins for currency. If they only sell to women in the middle of the night, I doubt they're making much of a profit. But only a circle can symbolize infinity. Please feel free to turn your head sideways and get back to me on that. And besides, your average merchant wouldn't be able to stock these coins. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about smelly things. Remember, kids. Perfume kills. Okay. But later! Sure, fine. Ignore me. I see how it is. As I mentioned briefly yesterday, Thomas Onra was one of the Sacrificia during the carnival. Okay, so... For those of you who weren't here... During our playthrough of the base game, first of all, what are you doing? Why are you watching things out of order? That's not how the devs intended it. Secondly... After we finished... The case in which he appeared as a witness, it did turn out... That good old Tommy boy... ...was in fact kidnapped and replaced by... ...the witch. That being said... ...the witch... ...has since been dealt with. And given what we learned about... ...where witches come from and what's been happening to them since the beginning of the game... There should not, given what we know now, be a second one around, so I'm not sure how relevant that's going to be to anything. On the other hand... What do we even do with this? So I don't super like any of these options, but I like this option marginally less. So I guess we'll just see what Annie's got to say for herself. Thomas seemed a normal fellow when we spoke during the day. Wait. Normal? N no, he was somewhat... very... strange. But I'm getting off topic. During the trial, the witch took on his form. No. He actually disguised himself as Maya eight years ago. Though there appeared to be limitations to his magic, Zen said he was free to transform his body into whatever he wishes. My gut says no. But I don't super remember clearly what happened last episode, but I could be wrong. 
Though I brought up this topic myself, I don't actually think that's ish. He would have revealed himself before you or Maya hit him, for one. Besides, I believe he's entirely unrelated to the case at hand. Everything Ish did was in service of reviving Norna. But her physical body is withered away, which means he no longer has any reason to move. When he lost to me, his malice evaporated into thin air as he collapsed to the ground. He was no different than a wounded child. You know, when you say it like that, I actually kind of sound like a bad guy. Hold on, let me rephrase that. It's not the most convincing proof, especially as I can't say I know everything about him. Normal man. Possessing all the power of one person. Able to run as fast as one person. Able to jump as high as one man. He can't forget that he's possibly been manipulated by a witch instead. I don't want to even consider there being other witches besides Ish, but that's what the perfume points to. Suppose once you've eliminated the impossible, etc., etc. <laughs> Now let's go over it all again. Step 1. The merchants deliberately let the rumors spread. Step 2. The merchants need to sell the coins as quickly as possible for some reason. Step 3. Don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Step 4. Make her open the box. Five. Nothing wrong with me. Okay. Okay. Coins of copper coated with gold plating. The goddess's blessing is a lie. Coins are so well made that they can be mistaken for currency, unsure if truly profitable. Would your average merchant keep these in stock? And Thomas is most likely an ordinary human. Put it all together, and what do you get? It's a fantastic question. Already, but we haven't even discussed the perfume. How can you have pudding if you haven't had your meat? The ringleader's true identity. He literally just said that this that perfume seems to be evidence of witch involvement. That everything else we're going over thus far to my humble mind does sound like human involvement, like... I feel like if there were a witch involved here... We would be dealing with significantly more... Obvious mystical involvement. Like, the fact that witches are real is not... Secret in this world, so it's not like they have any particular motive to hide their involvement in the commemorative coin industry or what have you. Now to tier real estate we can consider the perfume later, which also does not appear, having gone over what we just went over, to have anything to do with this story, which means... Is the ringleader a human? Coins are just that. 
I don't feel any traces of magic in the rumors or in the act of selling itself. It's all done through human effort. As long as the human in question has coffers deep enough to handle the production of these coins, anyone can do it. Could be you. It could be- okay, no, it could not be either of us. We are poor as shit. Master Tyrell musses my hair with slightly more force than usual. Really? Twice in one episode? You are spoiling us, game. Alright, now you're laying it on a bit thick. As happy as that makes me, the way he's handling me makes me feel more like he's petting a dog. Okay, but they're gonna cost me because I haven't been collecting any hit coins lately. I've never met a single person with hair the same color as mine. That's just how unique of a color it is. If we cross-check that with the fact that they're selling what is functionally currency, even if not, like, turning to pass it off as legal currency, my thought process was, like, a foreigner, maybe a foreign government, although that might just be prejudice on my hand, because that's the side the previous route we played came down on. But what if theirs was a false testimony meant to drag me under, or that too? If so, there could be only one culprit. But this does hinge upon Tommy lying to us. Do we want to believe that? I guess so. Yeah. Foreign government trying to weaken another economy with false coins does make sense. That would be applicable if the coins were coins. Like monetary coins, but they're they're not. They're just little little monopoly tokens being sold as lucky charms. So I guess the side they're coming down on is that the main antagonist of the game was trying to frame us specifically. I'm not sure how well that slots together, but I will resign my judgment until the end. This is getting out of hand. Now there's two of them. Da da da. Well. Prince Lucian really is the only shining beacon of light in that rotten family. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just saying, if- I feel like if you wanted to frame someone for using magic, not actually having any magic to present would be... a bit of a flaw in the plan. Conrad's usually better than this. Uh, Prince Lucian said that they won't lay a hand on us so long as we remain where they can see us. So, you think Conrad is acting alone, then? Remember, if shit sucks, you can just leave. Except this stream, I know it's terrible, but you are stuck here. The exits have been locked, and armed guards are posted. 
But if this isn't the flames that the, the king's doing, we would only be fanning the flames of his anxiety. Ruined a perfectly good royal family is what you did. Look at it. It's got anxiety. Seems as though making the merchants talk is our only option. Certain they know the truth. Oh, the eternal struggle of trying to convict someone who can pay more than you. Which trials almost always lead to death, don't they? Isn't it odd they would wish for such a fate themselves? You, you've got to go gentle on Annie, she's new here. When will the trial be held? Man, Thomas, I thought you were cool. Now you gotta do me like this. Hmm. Counterfeits, as in fake currency. So is is this the bit we know about, or are we in are we still in a timeline where you completely dismantled the underworld because you were bored? I don't think we established that about this route yet. Man, poor Conrad. I, I mean, he sucks. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy, but it does kind of feel like every time we go back and restart a new route, his life just gets slightly worse through absolutely no fault of our own. Do you mean to imply he's filling his pockets via the creation of currency? I mean, maybe not as much of a hell of a crime as, like, the human trafficking we literally just went over. But, but, you know. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? The amulet is actually a forged gold historian coin. The ornament on the side, size, and weight are a perfect match. There is no mistaking it. It's kind of weird that this didn't come up sooner. I feel like selling counterfeit currency is a thing other than counterfeit currency is... maybe a bit counterproductive. But what do I know? I'm just a professional. It's not like anyone listens to me. We need proof that Conrad is behind all this. Without it, we can't do anything further. Master Tyrrell, there is one way for us to ascertain for sure who the ringleader is. What? <laughs> They didn't tell us the plan before enacting it. That means it's guaranteed to succeed. Sami. Bro, there's like three sources of open flame in the room. Just go closer to one of them. I, I, I disagree with the prisons as much as the next guy, but you do have to take some responsibility for your own actions here. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> he sees the lighter side of everything. Man, you had all this opportunity and you didn't think to talk to him in your Batman voice during the interrogation. Man, I had faith in you. Uh, 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 I get it. Who could that masked man be? Okay, no, I had it incredibly wrong. Still, though. Okay, I feel like I should be able to come up with some sort of pun involving the name Geese Trading, but, uh, I don't know, nothing, no, nothing good is coming to mind. Maybe I've finally lost my touch. What is it with all the bad guys in this game and slavery? God. Find a second crime. Preferably murder. I'm good at solving those. ギーズ紹介のことは観光例が敷かれてて、関係者以外誰も知らない。つまり、それを知ってるあんたは、やっぱり本物の忍者なんだな。あの時は本当にありがとう。あんたは俺のヒーローだよ。な、もしかして、また
pro raggy. No, this joke is terrible. Future me to edit this out of the VOD. Thomas Unra is a sham. The detective is a sham. You're a sham, Edgeworth. I'm a sham. We're all shams here. これは正義の味方でも何でもない。利己的で独善的なお前と同じ人間だ。まさかそんな。あんたはいろんな人を救ってるじゃないか。貧乏人に施したり、虐げられてる人を助けたり、魔女の疑いをかけられた無実の人を
相手が相手だ賞賛はねえぞなあ俺は正義は勝つって信じてるからなもちろんあんたのことだ正義を信じることほど簡単なことはないさ You have very healthy teeth for a man living in medieval times. <laughs> we got the evidence. So it really was Conrad. Gasp. I never. Would have guessed. I got the amulets from a man I'd never met before. I thought it suspicious, but I'd just lost my job and was struggling to eat. He was the one that ordered me to avoid being seen and to only sell it to pairs of women. They asked me if these amulets were heretical, and he told me to say I'd gotten them for a red headed woman if I was ever caught. Do that, and I'd be proven innocent in trial, he said. That's when I knew this venture was backed by someone with considerable power. If it was a man he'd never seen before, it probably wasn't one of the crown princes. But... A fella like that probably has his henchmen. So it really was, Conrad. Well, <laughs> Dad, I was really looking to a road trip episode. Uh, you okay, Master Tyrell? Going forward with this means making an enemy of Conrad. So I'll do what I can to help out too. Things have finally gotten simple. I just need to focus my energies on cornering Conrad. Well roasted. It's probably the thing I'm worst at. そうか。すっきりした顔してるとこ悪いが、一つ思い出させておいてやろう。香水は別件だからな。あ、ばばば。たまたまなのか、狙ってのことなのかはわからないが、タイミングがガッチしたせいで、事態がややこしくなった。
No more. No less. And as reassured, Prince Lucian stood boldly against Conrad, arguing his case and often coming out on top. You can tell Conrad's the evil one because he has a big fur coat. But that was after the fatal rewind eight years ago. Originally, Prince Lucian was a very different person. You once told me that my letter gave you the courage to change. You have outstanding natural skills, so I believe you needed that courage to make them known. Some national affairs succeeded simply because you opted to enter the ring. You opted to step into the ring and, uh, start... ...hitting people with elbow drops. It's quite a sight to see. But where it concerns Conrad... In a word... It's Lucian speaks before I can, as if he'd long seen this coming. Theory seems to be that a witch has once again appeared, but what about the Praxis? Has something happened to make you think so? Well, maybe sometimes I just enjoy wearing false mustaches, you don't know. You don't know me. I, I mean, you actually do know me probably better than anyone else in this game, but still. You don't know me! I explain everything that we've learned so far to Prince Lucian. Yeah, it was really weird. I was, uh, I tried to explain to him that's not how poison works, but, uh, he just ignored me and kept talking. I apologize if what I've said has upset you. He also said this weird thing about stabbing people in the brains with pens and how it was, uh, the only reason he didn't do it is because it was less efficient. Deeply, deeply strange man. Yeah, just how many of you are there? Good lord, King James. Doesn't look like it, but he is definitely a man who knows how to get it. Whatever it is. You don't think Conrad was responsible, do you? But he seems like such a nice guy. Just thinking of that man makes the bile rise to my throat. I'd rather not compare someone like him with the Grand Commander. <laughs> Ho 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 ho. I hate him, will never forgive him, and don't think he's particularly impressive. And I still find myself scared in his presence. Like I face something... twisted. Like my own spine. I feel as though you were able to, you were the same as us before. Or rather, before my fatal rewind. How did you escape? Yeah, 
And Lucian closes his eyes as he reaches inward for the answer to my question. I observed him. Like a bird through a pair of binoculars. I watched him eat little bits of seed off the ground. And... I watched him as he bathed. Which is very normal, I'll have you know. Observed. Yes, he would be single, wouldn't he? For a man who's very popular, he gets no bitches. Why are you speaking as if this is the first you've heard of that? Got your permission to go and I even disguised myself as you advised. Stop giving clumsy exposition. Was that a bad idea? Goodness, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the coffin. Sassy Susan over here. Where Conrad is concerned, His Highness opted to think of him as... Lamity. Sorry, I... Good question, he didn't really explain. A natural phenomenon, like an earthquake or a hurricane. A disaster that cannot be predicted. A natural phenomenon. Do-do-do-do-do. He said he gave up on thinking of him as anything else, as he was difficult to predict and nearly impossible to stop. But it did put me at ease. It helped me realize that there was no point in thinking about Conrad. Or about her. But we have no choice but to think about him right now, so Prince Lucian offered me one more solution. Master Tyrael quickly places a finger against my lips. I strain my ears, but I hear nothing and sense no one. It's his earnest gaze that informs me of the danger nearby. My god, the submarine alarm! We're going down! What is this setting's tech level? We have cars, but we don't have trains. We have airships, but we don't have, like, balloons. Got a magic flower that lets us build entire buildings out of crystal. We have guns, but we haven't been told what sorts of guns. Now we have... Electronic alarm systems, apparently. We also have the field of psychiatry, though that's really more of a cultural thing. That and I'm pretty sure Tyrell's gotten top surgery. Master Tyrell closes up the entrance and begins placing items in front of the door. But I... You could shoot someone with a bow indoors. Mr. Tyrell turns off the lights. A decision he made based on his confidence in battles in the dark. And no, that's not a euphemism for something. He grips a dagger in his hand. Which is also not a euphemism for something. 
これが野外だったらお前にも相手させてたさ探検の扱い方は今度教えてやるだから今は行けもうキレイキキレイ I'm not fond of waiting, so I hope you won't keep me. I pick up the Ishik looks flabbous. Matsutira looks on with momentary surprise, but he silently returns his attention towards the door. So I guess they didn't need a lot of that to make the uh, medicine, given that they still have basically the entire drawer, according to the CG. Or maybe the artists were just lazy. Who can say? I exit to the roof and aim for the glittering central square. I understand Master Tiro will be alright. I can't rid myself of my anxiety completely. I've spent so much time fighting on the front lines that it's only now that I realize I dislike something even more than waiting. Is it... Is it the, the taste of walnuts? I can't stand the thought of making someone else fight. It's far more in my nature to fight myself. I always dress in red because it makes it harder to see the bloodstains. And I'm sure he feels the same way. We won't be able to obtain peace unless we distance each other from the conflict. Well, I made it this far, despite his directions. But if Master Tyrell's home has been attacked, then I may also be in danger. I quickly return to my own residence. Thankfully, nothing seems to have happened, but I can't leave Maya alone. I take her with me towards some place far safer. So did I to Yes, that is everything I just said. Thank you for summarizing it for me. I'm sorry to push this on you so suddenly, but I couldn't think of anywhere else. Yeah. I can't tell if you two are banging behind my back or absolutely want to kill each other. <laughs> Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I'm sorry for putting you through so much, Maya. Maya. There's no possible way you could serve as my decoy. We have different hair colors. Different eye colors. And you have like three cup sizes on me. Please don't say that. The very thought sends a shiver down my spine. I... I don't want her to do that and leave me behind again. Can't go through that a second time. Grand Commander cries, can you hide my away in a location Conrad can't reach? Hmm. <laughs> Surely there's no possible way Conrad could go inside a building. It's like a vampire. Can't come in unless you say okay. Oh, wonderful idea. Not even Conrad could hope to do anything against the likes of House Castle Rock. I mean, he can. He just has to think about it for a second. Is 
he, he's quirky. You, you, you gotta let him go. He needs to roam freely. He's not the type who likes wearing leashes, unless Anastasia's the one applying them. M Maya, go to the Grand Commander's home. I'll get you once everything is over. I think that's the bit she's worried about. あいつは俺よりも先癖悪いし、あいつは俺の恋人の爪一粒もない。俺くらい寛容になれば楽だろうに頑固で。恐ろしく頭が回るくせに変なところで愚かになる。でも you know, Cryos, Tyrell never did a big I have faith in him moment for you on your route. What does that say about your relationship, one must ask? As much as I want Master Tyrell to hear what the Grand Commander has to say, I'm sure he wouldn't be able to handle it. This may be the first time the Grand Commander has praised something outside his skills. Master Tyrell isn't always honest, but I see the Grand Commander is no better. So his score has been increased to 3 out of 100. That's like... 1% of the way to a passing grade. Yes, yes, Christ. I, I literally just said that. Come on, try to keep up. Master Tyrell! Do you just like have a key to this place? Oh. You know, I, I used to play bass guitar for Hooligan Maid. I thought it would be better to bring her along just in case. Can we borrow an empty aviary, sir? Don't ask why, but we need a lot of birds very quickly. We were making a chicken barbecue. Oh, or, you know, maybe we can just, uh, go out and sleep on the hay bales. I guess that's alright, too. Still like my idea better. Hmm. We spent the night in the sh night shift room attached to the aviary. The Ishik Luke's Flavus is also with us. This time I was able to protect the flower. Good job, Annie, you are learning. Early next morning, Master Tyrell tells me he wants to see the Garudas. After obtaining per per permission. From the Grand Commander, I take him to see Huma. Garudas are sensitive creatures, so do be careful. I'm not sure I believe any part of that statement. I know you won't, but... You always eat roast chicken at the tavern, so I'm worried. 
本当に俺のこと尊敬してるのか To be fair, they would feed a lot of people. And they look delicious. I'm opening the door. Hello, Huma. Is your face still stuck like that? I'm sorry, I haven't been able to stop by recently. She spreads her wings wide in response. Master Tyrell. Even as he makes that quip, he looks up at the Garuda with a terribly earnest expression. He had already been captured by the time Huma arrived at the central square, if memory serves. She's surprisingly calm, and I'm still not sure I like the way she's looking at me. It makes me feel kind of violated. Garudas usually don't make much noise, but they're very wary and only allow those they trust to touch. Metatero moves with light feet as he closes the distance between himself and Huma. I am unable to stop him before he touches one of her red feathers. Ah, ha, ha. Huma doesn't so much as twitch. There's none of the sharp claws or pointed beaks she brandished towards me. Why? Why? That she has such a hard time with Prince Lucian. You know, as opposed to me, who only had their creator goddess's soul. That doesn't count for anything, apparently. I don't get no respect. But she was just as wary of me as she was of anyone else when we first met. The change in her coloring indicates she's special then. She, uh... She henshined into the Red Power Ranger of cartoonishly oversized birds. Truly a formidable opponent. No one knows why her feathers changed colors. We're happy about it, of course, since it means the Grand Commander could receive his medicine, but... What do you mean? I admit it was almost too convenient that her feathers changed colors when they did. Flipping things around, maybe it's more natural to assume Huma changed her feathers for our sake. I mean, we're just kind of making shit up as we go along here, so who's to say it doesn't work like that? Thank you, Huma. You did a good thing, apparently. Still not very talkative. I thought I'd rather not consider assaults my mind. Uma fulfilled the wish of Norna's reincarnation, not the wish of Anastasia Linzel. Ungrateful. 
it, but I didn't want to be seen as known as reincarnation. But her powers were my greatest aid. I'm here because I was able to overturn death itself. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. But... Without her, I would never have been born. Truly, the goddess is a land of contrasts. I feel so distant. Like some sort of stranger with no name. I don't know if the tech level of this world is appropriate for me to be carrying a six-shooter, though. So I guess we'll have to table that thought. I wouldn't be here if not for my status as known as reincarnation. What a flimsy existence. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be here if not for my status as the children of my parents. We all got our cross to bear. I... Oi. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. And now is not the time to think on them anyway. I'm kind of used to that. Yeah. God, I forgot. I have, like, friends and family. それに今のお前には特別な力はない。普通の人間としての人生がすでに始まってる。こっから先の方が長いんだぞ。I had never really considered my future. We didn't know if the game was going to get a fan disc, so I didn't know if I'd have one. The tiniest of pebbles has dropped into the still pond of my heart, but the resulting waves spread far and wide. When I was 18, I did a particularly impactful Fatal Rewind. I returned eight years in time to back to when I was 10. Even adding all of that together, I have so many more years ahead of me than that. I can't believe I never realized something so simple. Thank you, Master Tyrell. You made me realize I'm going to be trapped in this meat shell for decades to come. あ、話してたら腹減ってきたな。朝飯あるのか? <laughs> Not unless you think you can take one of those Garuda in a fight. The night shift room has a stock of preserved food. Wait here. I'll get us some. I'll be back, Huma. Things have calmed down. Let's go out for a fly. お前の母主人、切り替えが早いな。たまについていけない時もあるが。she is mercifully unburdened by introspection. After we finish breakfast, I resume our discussion about Prince Lucian. His Highness said that Conrad's judgments are constantly filled with noise. Noise. I'm just repeating what His Highness said. Conrad is... a big old poopy butt face. Anyway,一度コートを思い込んだら変わらない人なんです。自分も他人も関係なく。Yeah, I guess he seems the type. 例えば、剣術. 
剣に触れる前から自分には才能があるとおっしゃる Yeah, he seems the type for that too. Is he not great at handling a blade? Yeah, to them all, it's yours. Nami no kishi dewa kanawa nai de shone. Bengaku ya joba, ongaku. Ani ue wa tsune ni sbarashi kekka o dashi. Shui o odoro kase te kita. Demo to no honin wa odayaka ni hohoemu dake. Jishin no seiko wa. Is that really an assumption then? Yeah, it's difficult to call it erroneous when he's actually produced results. Yeah, that's Oh, that's a, that, that's actually pretty normal for a sibling relationship. See, I don't know if you talk to other people all that much, but uh... My breath hitches in my throat. I've seen him berate Prince Lucian more than once, but I thought it was a scheme meant to keep his talented younger brother in check. Does he truly look down on his highness? If so, his oppressive attitude towards Master Tyrell is the same. だ、だ、だ。おそらく兄上の近くにいる者ほど気づくことはできないでしょう。あの強烈な狩り妻性は太陽の光のように人の目をくらませる。兄上の認知には雑音が常に混じっている。その音を聞き続ければこちらまで
お前コンラッド殿下のこと不憫だと思えるか Absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, I, I was gonna do some philosophizing, but no. No, I think yeah, he's right here. He sucks pretty bad. I'm glad he isn't actually a child. If he were, I wouldn't even be able to punch him in my mind. That's a sentence right there. What is that? ルーシェンを殺すように命じられたことあるんだよ。あ、uh, ティーラル、this is a this is actually a really weird story to bring up over a、uh, over lunch。what。倉庫に連れ込んで、首に縄をかける寸前でやめた。思いとどまってよかった。As Tyrell stares blankly down at his own hands, he disobeyed Conrad's order. Just how much pain did he suffer in punishment? Just imagining it makes my heart feel like it could break. So there were some orders even you chose to defy. Looking back, he was the first person Grand Commander Kreis introduced me to. I don't know how involved things were at the time, but that act must have also been against orders. I'm more convinced than ever that Conrad is wrong. You do have your own will, Master Tyrell. I, I mean, not that any of us do. She, uh. We are all just. a series of. Written lines and event flags, but you know, life goes on. No, I yet. What a touch of an old Jodo says in Janai. What a touch in Yatta Sempo can let it see over. Maybe Conrad's greatest weakness is that he'll be defeated if we defeat him. Never think of that. Why don't we infiltrate the castle? We could locate proof that Conrad is involved with currency counterfeiting. Or, you know, the slave trade. Have I said something strange? Yeah. I was in the first place where I came from, and I was in the first spent the entirety of the last game on the other side, except for that one bit that didn't go very well. Why not do a perspective flip episode? Uh, oh, well, uh, uh, it, it's not terribly commendable to be sure, but this is Conrad we're up against. We can't do things half hearted. All right, crime is illegal. I hadn't thought of that, Master Tyrell. I don't know what to do. Do you actually intend to try him in court? You don't seem to come to see that one. After everything that's happened, he's chosen the legal path. I didn't have the courage for that. I should have expected as much from him. I wasn't cheating. That, that means Thomas himself will die. His love for Ninja was the real thing. Okay, come on. 
No one in this room believes that. Except maybe Huma. Not, not sure if she's all that great judge of character. I knew Master Tiro wouldn't be able to abandon Thomas to his fate. He's not so cold that he would ignore the affection people have for him. Mm hmm, yes, very interesting. You're saying a thing that's similar to the thing I said, and that makes me feel good about myself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Please, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Orega Conrad to Denka no Motonik. So stay, Naibukara Kakimidashi. Denka or Kudan de Kirudaka no Shoko or Smetakur. You can't. You've finally gotten away from him, but now you're coming back? Do you realize how foolish you sound? You fool. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Stop choking about it! If you're going back into his service to steal away evidence, what difference is that from infiltrating the castle? I'd rather do the latter. I turn away from him. More frustrated and angry with his wisdom than I've ever been. You're mistaken this time. You cannot be allowed to face this much danger alone. Gee, now I just feel like an asshole. There must be another method we can use. Something safer. I'll figure something out. So please, Master t -Rill, just... Wait here. Yeah, we're also dealing with that other girl. Good job, Mitsu. I leave the aviary with such speed I'm liable to trip over my own feet. Then my heart yells in agony and my feet refuse to stop. If I stop now, I may explode. We have six days. I need a plan that is safe, highly effective, and will not result in Master Tyrell sacrificing himself. Knowing Tyrell's personality, that last bit is probably the hardest. If such a plan existed, he would have long thought of it. I understand my actions contradict my thoughts, but I refuse to acknowledge it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, what? What, I can't hear you? Can you speak up? Sorry, you're in a game with kind of wonky audio mixing. Can you, um... Have you recorded any new testimonies? What? Do you have something? Well, that feels like a crime. What? Impressive work. One of the assassins, then. Does Conrad know about Thompson's betrayal? No, I doubt it. Master Tyrell said he put a gag order on the counterfeits as a safety measure already. Is he threatening them, then? Did he think that one person was enough to put witchcraft suspicions on me? 
And it might also use to play bass guitar for witchcraft suspicions. Either way, the merchant's lives are in danger. We may not actually have the six days we've been granted before trial. I flew out of the aviary to find an answer, but all I have now is my own impatience and a lack of any progress. The more time I spend doing this, the worse things become. I'm powerless. I went to the Inquisitorial Order. Inquisitor Tall informed me that assassins came after the merchants. Yeah, I know, Annie. I was there at the time. I'm sorry. Despite my bluster, I couldn't think of anything. You must be so disappointed with me. Yeah? After a long sigh, an innocent smile lights up Master Tyrell's face. He enjoys his life so much. I mean, no, he doesn't, but, you know. We come to the edge of town, to a forest overseen by the wings. I come here almost weekly, whether it be for hunting, archery practice, or guard of flight training. It's an otherwise safe and unremarkable forest, but Master Tyrell walks through it as if on a mission. Master Tyrell, where exactly are you taking me? No, I'm still fine. But if we keep going like this, we'll still be in the forest by evening. Tomorrow? Oh boy, are we going camping? You gotta make me play a timing minigame to roast a big old hunk of meat over an open fire. Suck at that minigame. You're camping? I thought this was just a walk, and what's all this about a cave? I've haunted in this forest more times than I can count, but I've never found anything of the sort. <laughs> Anastasia can have a little bit of ancient ethnic group wisdom as a treat. The biggest secret of a clan shrouded in them. Excitement takes hold at the thought, and I await Master Tyrael's words with bated breath. I didn't mean to do that. Master Tyrael, this forest is located barely ten kilometers from the capital. The forest is under the wing's jurisdiction, so the public can't enter, but... Despite the number of cadets and knights that have trained here, we've never had any reports of a village. Village! <laughs> Everyone knows there's no such thing as villages. I think you may be teasing me.
After walking for half a day, Master Tyrael stops. He tells me to wait to the side as he gets on his knees. I haven't come this deep into the forest since my senior knights taught me how to hunt. How weird. Something feels different here. It's the same familiar forest, but there's this sense of nostalgia as well. Well, ah, I see Solid Snake over in the bushes. A cave appears where there were only trees. I blink in shock, as if doing so will return the scene before me to its previous state. あるものをないように見せかける。空間の一部を隠す力とでも言えばいいか。けど使えるのはこの場所でだけ、この洞窟を隠すことしかできない。So don't go demanding I use it for other more convenient purposes. Master Tyrell had written something at his feet. I think they're words at first, but looking more closely, I see he's actually drawn some sort of design. That looks similar to your tattoos. Is this something only the Ishii clan is capable of? Wow. Two humans, Shiki and Lucius, stood out from the rest. Shiki was blessed with wisdom, and Lucius with natural charisma. Together with Norna, they spearhead the nation building process. Just before the official founding, Lucius grows dissatisfied. If the goddess takes the throne, he will never become king. The ambitious Lucius couldn't abide by this. He kills the goddess in secret, and marries a woman he holds up as the goddess in Norna's stead. Thus was the Neuschburn family born. Everybody got that? So where did Shiki and the Ishii clan go? Turns out the answer was a big hole. But the clan that should have been at the center of the kingdom's affairs disappeared from the stage of history. They chose instead to live in this forest. Do you know about the Age of Myth? And how did that work out for ya? Remember kids, always pay attention to history class, otherwise the government will genocide every other member of your people. Regret weighs down his voice. I saw fragments of Norna's memories before handing my powers over to Rune. Now I've forgotten them all. Neither Master Tyrion nor I have any way of knowing what actually happened here. Yeah, that's still a big old question mark floating right above us. Man. What a dick. Why did he decide to visit here now? 
He returns to his old home upon deciding to sneak back into Conrad's good graces. Somehow that feels awfully. Where would the cave be outfitted with that? Were they used by the Ishii clan? I thought they just hid it because it was funny. My assumption is quickly proven wrong. The sleeping bag is in good condition, while the emergency rations look usable for years yet. Mr. Tyrell put these here. He visits this place where his comrades now sleep eternally, regularly. All alone. It's very sad, actually. ねえ、袋、もう一つ買い足しとけばよかったな。抱きしめて寝ればギリギリ入るか? No, 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 no way. You, you should use that. 広げれば二人で寝転ぶくらいはできるか。その前に飯だな。缶詰くらいしかないが、味は保証する。all right, they have cans. They have canned food. That's probably less advanced than the airships, but it's another data point to consider. Means they probably also have can openers. They use to open the cans. Can't particularly imagine what a world with cans but no can openers would look like, but it would probably be pretty annoying. And I can't wait. I get a fire going. Black carp preserved in oil, heartily spiced chicken, stewed beef, and some mysterious but otherwise very delicious dish. Ah, uh, yes, the mystery meat. There are things Master Teal would probably order at a tavern. This would be his perfect meal if only we also had a bottle of mead. A variety of food on offer makes our dinner feel fancy, even though I literally just said it's all bar snacks and oil. We enjoy some fruit growing nearby for dessert as we stare blankly into the fire. I was watching the fire. It was beautiful. I don't like being near fire personally, but then again, I did horribly die in one, so you know. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what I literally just said. Thank you. No other person could get away with asking such a thing while smirking. I can deal with a fire this small. Ah, so. He blankly adds wood to the fire. So yeah, Zen got meat cut up the whole coconut. That's convenient. Really? Where was he? Liho da to. So some way, can you get there? Ima Tsurakai to Sandan or Totono et to go da. Moshi timing go gaiba. Why, I love that. How long have you been friends with Zed? Have you known the Grand Commander longer? <laughs> Who said we were friends, Baka? I've never seen the friendship version of bullying people you like before. Huh? それまでクライオスとはめっちゃくちゃ仲悪かった。多分ゼンがいなきゃどっかで殺し合って、俺かあいつのどっちかは。Bad? Like, 
that bad? It's a very interesting story. If we wanted to, we could probably make like a, an entire prequel visual novel about it that would sell a million copies. I'm awfully curious about what a lot entails in this case. But it sounds so interesting. No, if you want to hear the story, you'll shell out the 20 bucks for it like everyone else. Ah, uh, yes, Prince Conrad's org. I'm sorry, they were smuggling Garudas? Are there only like 20 of those in the entire world? Everyone knows all the strongest friendships are based in attempted murder. Annoying. Mendonagotokonuenaidaro. Oh no, they suddenly made it sad. I gotta go doing things like that when I'm trying to have a good time. I'm reminded of those feelings he let spill out. I can never forget the despair in his eyes as he faced the reality that love and the future offered him. Did you never consider keeping the Ishik bloodline alive? そこまで残酷にはなれねえな。子供に同じことはさせたくない。そう今は思っても、先はどうかわからない。人間年を取るほど若い奴に自分が叶えられなかった夢を託したくなるもんだからな。俺が石屈族の名誉を取り戻そう
かつて石シク族がそうしたようにすべてを捨ててこの森で生きることを選べば苦しみや悲しみからは逃れられるだろうお前が本気で望むならいややっぱり俺は Not I said the Inquisitor 俺はもう居場所を失いたくない何かに追われて生きる場所を変えるのは嫌だ手貸せ手をつないで話すとより気持ちが伝わるってたくさま銀融詩人が歌ってた I'm very curious how Tyrell would react to a truly awful minstrel which is also the name of a band I once played bass guitar for His hand is cold. We are sitting in front of a fire, but his hands have been left behind in the chill of winter. Konaida sa, Kako no tsumi o kaksu no wa hikyo te hana shi shita ro? Zenbu arai zarai hana su ni wa, jikan ga ikura a ってもたりねえが Kyo wa, saishu ni ore ga oka shita tsumi o o mai ni kiite ho shi kute koko ni kita. Okay, Yua is is this no no what are you what are you doing? Damn it all. Damn it all. We were doing so well. Bothers me how long it's been since we got a um a rose. Oh no. I got heated when you first told me this plan, but I'm no longer against it. Oh do you uh Because you've often phrased it as going to his side. When you go somewhere, you must return. I don't think that's how that works, Anastasia. When you do, we'll come back to our life together, right? If I don't believe you, I'd be the same as Conrad. I trust you more than anyone. I will affirm your will. That's totally the implication contained in that option. I <laughs> Okay, don't flatter yourself. I do love you. Okay, don't flatter yourself. I do, in fact, love you so much, it's unbearable. What's he making me say? As I feel my face burn from embarrassment, I prepare a complaint or two. But... I'm struck silent at his unclouded smile. コンラッド殿下を太陽に例える人間は多いが俺にとっての太陽はお前だアナスタシア手貸せ手をつないで話すとよりきこの間さ過去の罪を隠すのは卑怯って話したろ全部洗いざらい話すには時間がいくらあっても足りねえが今日は最初に俺が犯した罪をお前に聞いてほしくてここに来た。I wanted you to hear about the first time I played Undertale. I took four pieces of candy from the take one only candy bowl. The nightmares haunt me to this day. Your first sin? 異種族が滅ぶ原因を作ったのは俺なんだ
You know, that strikes me as unlikely. What was Tyrell's first sin? How has he gaslit himself into believing that he was single-handedly responsible for an act of genocide against his own people? Did he get just a bit too silly? All these questions and more will be answered next week on Even If Tempest, Dawning Connections. Probably. Hopefully. It's the best ending point we're gonna get in a while, I bet. Good night, everybody.